Well, you know, I'm going to look into this. That con, Kylie, I'm sorry if I pronounced her last name wrong. Rondini? I don't know. But I know I saw a video today and the one that pulls a car out. My understanding is she's found in the back seat. At least that's what I haven't heard. I haven't. And now I read the car was 20, between 20 and 40 foot from the shoreline, the embankment. And it was flipped over. Now, when I get home, if I remember, I'm going to put that, see if I can, I'm going to have the screen record that video from New York Post. Because that little embankment, I'm sorry, I just don't see that car going that far out for one, because the water's going to hit it like a brick. Which I read an article, somebody's been through something like that. And they said that when you hit the water, it's going to rock you back and forth, knock you around. So that why didn't wake her up. And from what Fred was saying on his life, the window was half down. Because the car will float for a little bit before it sinks. But from what I seen that video, to be go that far out. You make it. I, my my career, lifetime career has always been driving, cars, trucks. That's all I've done. And in my experience, and I even tried today. I took this car on a road right here in town. I did a U-turn because I was a spontaneous, so I did a U-turn. Car was still moving when I put it through to neutral. And I'll tell you right now, the road I was on was a sharper grade than what I've seen on that video. And it took a little bit to get it up to 30 miles an hour. And it took a lot. And I was on a fastball road. Now, I presume, I don't know what they've got for embankments made out of whether it's some kind of rock, rock sand, or whatever. Hey, that's gonna slow a car down too. <coughs> Just from what I've checked out today, I've got more questions than anything else. And I did try to, you can find this money. I did try to call a Honda dealership out in Cal. Well, let's see, I called three of them. One was downtown LA, one was in Yuba City, wherever that is, and one was in Burbank. They kept putting me on hold, I'm like, I ain't got time for this. But as I worked, so I was just like trying to do 20 things at once. Because I want to check, because I can't believe that that car shut off in the park and actually still roll. I just, how the hell is that you, I don't think the cars were even allowed to do that. I shut this car off, put a park, it ain't going anywhere. I've had a Honda Accord shut off, put a park, it don't go nowhere. I'm done wheels of it, it's in neutral. So I'm going to ask an expert. I'm looking very forward to tomorrow's coffee with, with the kids. I'm not looking forward to what I get to do after that. I can work on some hot water elements. Yay. Then how hard there's time gets on me. But I'll, I'll keep you updated. And everything I tell you is just my opinion. In this case, my driving background, I'm not buying it. That's the part that bothers me. All right, I'm going 60, about 62 right now, going down a little hill. And it's slowing down. That's what's, which is about, she's doing about what I expected to do. So 
So if you're in a dead stop, presumably, she, I would presume she was in the back seat, she had to be at a dead stop. The car is on a dead stop. It doesn't make sense. I'm just getting into this case, so bear with me. But, alright, I'll catch you on the flip flop. Bye.